Hello and welcome to another survival video and today we are going to be looking at a squirrel snare. So without wasting any time guys we're going to jump right in and you're only going to need two materials for this trap. So the first one being a tree branch like mine here and you're looking for something between 8 and 14 feet. Uh, I'll, I'll describe what we're going to use that for later on. And since we are making a snare you're going to need some snare wire. So I have two sets of wire here. These are both 24 gauge wire. And optionally, uh, I'm not going to use bait. And I'm just going to say this really quick. Be sure to check in with your, your laws and regulations before you build the trap. And be sure to be very responsible to check your traps daily. And I just got some cashews here and some peanut butter. And since this is a squirrel trap, uh, both of these baits will work fairly well. So since we're crafting a squirrel snare, I want to introduce you guys to my backyard. So this is right behind my property here, and this is uh, beautiful squirrel, squirrel territory. And if you guys are familiar with squirrels, they love pine trees, uh, primarily because there's a lot of places to hang out, and the needles stay on year-round, which provides cover uh, in the winter. And this particular area is full of pine trees, as you can tell. And the other thing is, on the other side here, there's a stone fence. And squirrels, they're, they're kind of interesting. They don't really care where they are, they just want to be off the ground. And they're going to use that stone fence as a highway. So this area, in general, is just a great spot to place snares and to trap and hunt squirrels. So over here, I uh, found this tree here. And uh, it looks like a pretty good spot, as far as I'm concerned, for my trap. And like I said, I'm not going to leave this trap overnight because this is off, off hunting season, off trapping season. And I quite frankly have no reason to trap a squirrel today. So, over here I have my tree branch. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place it up against a tree branch here, like so. And I'll really quickly go over this and how this works. So by placing my tree branch here, uh, the idea is we're going to traffic the squirrel's movement. So if a squirrel was on the ground, he'd be running along, and then he'd have to go straight up the tree at a 90 degree angle. However, being the creative little creature they are, they would much rather run along the ground, up the 45 degree angle, and then up another 45 degree angle. So by placing this ramp here, we can channel their movements. And in doing so, we can place snares on this, on this ramp, and, you know, if we get lucky, maybe we'll catch one. So many of my viewers and subscribers ask me how I craft my snares. Typically it depends on the type of cordage I'm using and the trap. But really quickly I'm going to demonstrate how I craft a super, super easy snare. So you take one end of your line, you just create a sort of loop here. And you want to be careful that you have no kinks in your line, like I do right here. You want to work those out or else the snare will get snagged. But because this is a demonstration, I'm just going to carry on anyways. And you take the other end of your line and you just feed it through the loop. Like so. And that will create a slip knot. And you can see if I pull up on it, it will create tension. But the problem is, if I were to release that tension, it will unfold. So depending on the trap, this works well and fortunately today for us it'll work well with the trap we're making. So here is my snare and I tied one end around my ramp and then I have to set the actual loop of my snare. So this part's a little bit tricky. You want to consider two things. The first one being how high up off the ramp your snare loop is. So to figure that out you want to consider what a squirrel's head looks like and how he walks. Secondly, you want to consider the diameter of the actual snare loop. So given a squirrel's head, it's probably around an inch to an inch and a half. We're going to create our hole about maybe an inch and a half to two inches, like mine here. So the idea is, if my hand were to represent a squirrel, he's going to come running up, he's going to stick his head in here, and he's not going to be able to fit his whole body through, he's only going to be able to fit his head through. It's going to hit his shoulders, and he's going to feel something, he's going to panic. Now he's going to try to jump off. When he does so, the snare is going to tighten on him 
and eventually it's just going to suffocate him, he'll black out, and before long you'll come along and uh, pull him off and, you know, there you go, you have a squirrel in your trap. One last thing before I wrap this video up, I did mention baiting earlier, so here's my bag of cashews, here's my peanut butter, and simple enough, you know, you just rub a little bit of peanut butter in the cashews and put them on either side of the, of the snare. And you want to be very careful with this because baiting typically isn't legal, so make sure you look into that. And apart from that, you know, in a survival situation, it's pretty much any man's game. It's free for all, so if it's your life or death, I'm sure they'll make an exception. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to leave a request or subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos. And happy hunting.